All right, today we're working on uh, finding the code for the keyless entry. There's a push pad on the door um, for this is a 2003 Mercury Mountaineer. And uh, we're going to, we don't know the code because uh, when I bought it, they didn't, you know, bought it off of a lot somewhere and they didn't have the right code. So what I found out is there is a control module for the locks in the back on the right side in the rear of the vehicle we're gonna have to go inside of here take this all apart and get down to the modular and get a the push code so let's let's work on getting to that right now okay here we are we're in the back seat I got put a light up so I can see what I'm doing and uh, we're gonna remove this trim piece here. Let's just get our fingers in there. If we can pull on it. Oh yeah. Undo that. There's a couple little pieces here. There. There she comes. Pull that down. Now we have this little clip right here in the top. I don't know if you can see it. There. We'll pull back on that. There's a couple little spots we can pull on here. trim piece right in the corner. Pull that back out of there. There we go. If you look down inside, there's the modular right down inside there. There's a tag on it. Let me get a flashlight and then we'll get that the number off of that. Let's see, got my flashlight right here. Okay, let's take a look. What do we got? Oh yeah, there it is. I can see it plain as day. All right, so you take that number, you can go over to the keypad and push that in, and that should open up your doors for you. You might have to disconnect the battery to uh, maybe erase the memory, I'm not sure. Um, I know that's what I did. I had the battery disconnected for a while, got that number out, and then we'll go try it, okay? Well, let's hang on, we'll go do that. Okay, we're over here by the door. Let's open it up. Let's lock the door. There we go. And we'll push in our code. There it is. Bang. Opened it right up. So, cool. Okay, back into the vehicle now. We're going to, we put this trim back on. So we put this clip back in, put that back. Push this piece back in around the, the trim piece there where it belongs. Got all the clips pushed back in. They just snap back in. Then if you look on the interior here, we got a clip. There's a clip hole here. And up on this one is another clip. And then uh, a couple of pieces here. So these here just snap back into place. Set that back up in there. Get this line back up. I'm going to need to use two hands to do that, but generally, you can just push this back into place again. There that goes. And then we pretty much have it. I'm going to take my other hand and do that. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Not too bad, uh, you know, ten minutes to go in there and you get her out. Got to get my little thing back out of there, but we'll get her. Alright, now you got a general idea how it goes back in.